yoga. And just drop in, check in with the fam. If this love stream is helpful, please share it. Please like it. Please love it. Um, this is how we are connecting our hearts energetically. We are using the old rootstock of the internet and Facebook and all of these things to actually unify together uh, as the sapling, the simple structure to bring the magic through that we have been working on together in the stars for millennia. So very significant check-in and there is massive liberation in the field and the miracle coordinate of what we call the yesterday. We, many of us, the golden pod floating in the zero together. So there's a very good report to go and check out. It's a blog post uh, by Lauren Gorgo and her um, her website is Think With Your Heart, and she summed it up great, and I will uh, say the same, mirroring oh, what she's written in her report. So, for many on the path, we have taken the quantum leap, and we are in the unity consciousness, and so we are sailing above the seas of the chaos together in intimacy and collective communion because we chose to do it this way. And some people have chosen to do the path of aloneness and it's all same, same. And I will say with the golden pod, we are sailing uh, in the uh, starry seas. And it is a very intimate union, co-creation, collaboration together. Uh, please check out the posts on Facebook, our collaborations that have been put together by beautiful Guillerme and they are a co-creative pod effort from uh, recording the transmissions to posting them and to Guillerme's beautiful uh, sacred symbols that he is bringing in from the stars and the music and the editing and putting them together in meditations to share what is in the space between the words coming through. So. Please go to my page, to Guillermo's page, to Unity Transmissions Facebook, to our YouTube pages, to pureenergy.love, to all of these places that we are connecting together. Put this down, see if we get the rest sun in the eyes. Um, to to for our simple container for the magic to flow. So in the starry heavens, as we were dreaming together. Um, I saw a lot of twin ray unions coming together and of course the true beloved is the unification within and us with our higher selves and I was also seeing the next iteration of our creation and what we have been creating called heaven on earth and beautiful alignments of communities and partnerships. So the piece to share on our drive today to Bikram's Yoga in the day gay way say miracle is that um, David Hawkins did some beautiful work for us on planet Earth. He created a scale of vibrational energies of the emotional field and he called he put it all in a book called Power versus Force. And so power is um, at the love end of the scale and of course there's even higher uh, iterations of emotional or energetic emanations for a human to experience beyond love. Um, the bliss and peace is, I believe, the highest on a scale, but I would have to go back and look. And um, the lowest is depression and uh, sadness, and actually anger sits on top of that. So what Lauren is speaking about in her 5D Think With Your Heart report is um, that for those who are still really in it, so to speak, uh, right now, it is because this is the final clearing for that aspect of the consciousness of the oppression. Now, oppression is um, the holding down of energy, to simply put. We can align oppression to all of the things in the memory field that have been experienced, but why bother? Because they're all stories anyways, and they are not real. What is real is the miracle coordinate. And this is uh, the now, the miracle is here, and this is how we create and where we create all things from. So uh, we had an amazing transmission last night in the Golden Pod in the 
monastery, home of our living library. And it was in relation, how beautiful, we have 44 people online. Miss Yellowon, do you see? Miss Yellowon's keeping her eyes oh, on the road, four, but four. Just, she's flying the light ship. She's so cute. She is like just an epic. Uh, commander is not the word because we don't command each other, but from the stars. So they sent her from the Pleiades, and I said, all right, if Yellowon is coming, then I will come. So um, we're going to just pull our little sun is not reflecting in there. Okay, so if we go check out David Hawkins' Power Versus Force, you can see the scale of uh, the emotional field and the different energetics and vibrations up. So in the transmission that came through last night in the pod, it was to really um, show that when we are states of depression or when our energy is held down and suppressed through our choices, our emotional choices, our repressive nature, maybe that is our survival technique when we were a child, was just repress everything. And of course, we are, none of that is in existence and it is still in the field for clearing and for the understanding of those who are clearing it, these final remnants. So uh, the piece to share is, um, hi Robin, piece to share here is to understand something very important, that a lot of people uh, are uncomfortable with acknowledging anger and becoming familiar with it within themselves and making friends with it. And the thing about anger is that anger is the gatekeeper uh, to our energy field. So oppression is the 47th gene and it is um, where they said the 98% of the junk DNA for humanity was, which of course wasn't true, it was just all the energy, the life force, the bioenergy field of humanity was in suppression beneath anger. Yes, beneath anger. Anger, as we know, in uh, the past history was, um, it was a state, a uh, authoritarian state, and that was um, controlled controlled through the emotion or the energetic of anger and so that suppressed the collective this is very significant and we are not imprinting this in the miracle of now we are sharing it because we are discovering many people are um, are uh, navigating this piece in the miracle coordinate as a collective because we came for collective ascension together so this is a very significant miracle coordinate piece so, um, understand that in an authoritarian state, which is no longer in existence and never did exist because I say so and we dissolved it, we do not give our consent yet. As we are navigating our uh, bioenergy fields and every iota of uh, space, every particle, understand that in order to release our energy field, our life power, they call it life force, I call it life power, because it's power, not force. In order to uh, allow this to rise, oops, rise up within us, we must make friends with the anger. Now, many people on the planet have, and still uh, there is this discovery in the transmission and uh, in the field that some are still just coming into navigation with this now just discovering what it means to um, come into relationship with the anger. So you make friends with it and you go, hey, uh, a lot of people were in denial of being angry at all, going, no, I don't get that. Oh, well, guess what? It's part of the human experience. It's part of the human emotions to experience anger. And in order to graduate from the 64 codons and the archetypes of what it is to be human, one must make friends with every aspect of being human. That is the key. We came here to graduate by going, I can love every aspect of being human. And that's graduation. I say that the Buddha is the guy who's sitting there in lotus who can hold all 64 codons, all 64 archetypes, all aspects of being human within the field, in neutral, simultaneous. And in doing that, this sun is so fun, 
cats bouncing all over trying to see we. Um, <laughs> so, um, yes, the, the, the Buddha is holding all of these human uh, qualities in the field simultaneous and not projecting them outward. See, there's nothing wrong with projecting it outward. It's just that if we really want to graduate and move beyond 3D into multi-D, it is the capacity to hold the entire human experience simultaneous within, in neutral. And that's where we go quantum. See, the miracle that we allow the energy to be projected outside of ourselves, now we are in creation and we are creating. So we want to. We are, we don't want, we don't want anything. We are perfecting ourselves to hold it all simultaneous. And if we have not made friends with our anger and acknowledged that we actually experience anger, then we may still be in the very oppressive state of our energy field, suppressed in the very lowest frequency called depression. Yes. So here's what I suggest and suggested uh, for... Um, in the transmission, and I suggest many times, is when I was coming into alignment with my own beautiful anger many miracles ago, I started to welcome it like it was coming in through the front door. It would be knock, 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 and I'd go, oh, there's anger. And I would open up the door and go, anger! And right away, I would grab anger like anger was just the best friend and just newbie anger. Go! What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you at the door? Angus here to tell me something. Come in, Yada. Look at you again. Come on, get in here, you silly rascal. What's up? Come on, let's have some tea. And then me and Anger would sit down, and then once I'd done the newbie thing, Anger really had lost its power, and so we were just friends, and Anger had a message, so I would receive the message, and Anger would go on its way. And that's how I made friends with Anger, and boom, all my energy was liberated, and I became a liberated being. No one can uplift us from our own depression, but we, and that's fact. It says it in the genes. I think that's got all the time. I'd be there on the end. I'm not sure. We're checking. Oh, might be a little bit snowy, but yes, perhaps. All right. May have to go under the thumb. So, we are navigating the light ship simultaneous with Miss Elwon. She's doing such a good job. It's adorable. So, um, yes, here's the final piece, and we're trusting that the phone is going to work as we go in the underground parking. Here's the final piece, which is um, nobody, as Richard says, can release us from our own depression. That is uh, such a suppressed state of emotion and energy that only we can unlock we by choosing to live that. And... So we have to make the choice in that phase to make friends with what is suppressing our energy and we have to acknowledge that peace within we that is called anger and it's okay. It's human, it's part of the archetypes, it's not big and bad. We got really afraid of it and uh, maybe we didn't, who knows, whatever. I'm just saying for those who may find themselves in this final oppressive state navigating in this miracle um that is the key bring anger in through the front door offer it tea give it to nogi ask it what the message is and then feel the bioenergy field from the sacral liberate and release and join us in the starry heavens as we are the golden pod together in uh, of creation ascending together and uh, we are in the zero together so that is the message we are here at yoga miss ella one so we love we we love we if this love stream is helpful please share it and we love we and Mwah. 
Aloha. Bikram Yoga. We're all going into Bikrams together. We'll tell them to make space. The entire 8 billion people are coming today to Bikrams. And then all the other films. Yes. Aloha. <laughs>